All right, guys, welcome to uh, Overdrive League. This is our plat league, obviously. We are here for Brainstorm Gaming and BMOS Commandos. I am Alk Battery, joined tonight by Chief. How you doing? Hey, guys, what's up? So, I mean, just looking at these uh, looking at these teams right now, Brainstorm, they're a little bit behind. They're not doing too well. I think it's a little bit of a caster curse. Uh, I mean, a lot of their games have been streamed for the past two weeks, and they are not looking too hot, especially tonight. With the two losses tonight. So, uh, for right now, uh, hopefully they'll be able to pick it up against Bemos, who uh, they are definitely a crowd favorite at least. But I'm trying to look at uh, the band so far, we do see a Graves coming out first band. For anyone that is who doesn't know though brainstorm will be picking or dropping two bands or i think it's one sorry because they do have evolution one and more. primate subbing in so yeah, this, this is one man <laughs> so chief uh you know run me through these uh bands that we're gonna be seeing. all right <laughs> so uh on the side of bemos we had a graze band and a fiddles band come out probably aimed down at the jungler of brainstorm uh, after that, a Vladimir band coming out. Vladimir, in my mind, a very flexible pick, able to go top, able to go mid. I think that he's a great pickup, but something that's really nice to ban out and take that away. On the side of Brainstorm, we do see the Lost band for their first, but then a Zed and a Yasuo band, getting rid of a lot of the assassins that can just kind of delete their carries, which is a nice choice by them, keeping that option safe. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, you know, they will be able to brainstorm. They're just trying to get rid of anything that might be able to run away with the game and just uh, keep it away. And uh, I mean, on BMOs, the Vladimir ban, a lot of this seems like it's a little bit more bot focused as we do see the Fiddlesticks and the Vladimir being taken on a very disgusting bot lane to pick up. But going for the first pick, we do see some Kaisa action also being there. Um, I mean, the Kaisa right into the Shen Karma, that's, uh, that, I mean, that's a potent combo within itself with the Shen and the Karma. It's, I'm yeah. interested. I'm curious Sorry. to see this Kaisa Rakan lane that looks like it's gonna happen. Yeah, I, I mean, with Rakan, it gives Kaisa so many good, uh, opportunities to go in with the Plasma. And with the Aatrox there, especially, you know, with Aatrox picking up buffs on A14, we could see him both mid or top. Uh, we could also see him a little bit jungle, but definitely those two lanes are super strong. And I'm interested to see if maybe they even go with the smite mid, even despite the, the nerfs to some of that smite lane uh, shenanigans, I guess you could say. But over on the side of Vimos, they do last pick up a Syndra, and the bands are also going to come in slowly but surely. Uh, I mean, just looking at the first three picks, what do you think here? I, I feel like there's a lot thrown that I wasn't expecting. As we see Azaya get picked up on the side of Bemos, and I mean, it's odd to see Azaya without a Rakan because they fit each other so well, and uh, I mean, as in the words of another person told me, Zaya is that good without the Rakan duo because Rakan is able to engage so much better when she's around. I mean, I, yeah, I definitely think that the Rakan is a lot better off without Zaya. So, I mean, Zaya can do. I mean, Zaya is obviously a very strong AD carry on her own, but. Uh, Rakan, if you were to solo pick either Rakan or Zaya, I would definitely take a Rakan over a, you know, by herself alone Zaya. Um, I mean, just looking at the Fizz and Hecarim picks, these were things that we saw uh, last week. The, the, the Hecarim was doing a lot of damage and a lot of work there. But also the Jin and Lucian being taken away from Bing Bong pretty huge as uh, I've definitely been seeing on his OPGG just a lot of spamming of those particularly two champions and especially with Jin with the Storm Razor. It's pretty it's pretty disgusting. Yeah and as you were saying it actually looks like it might in fact be an Aatrox mid lane 
from the looks of it, because I'm going to guess that Renekton is going top lane. Now, you never know. We can see that Renekton mid lane. That's that good spicy stuff right there. I love that. But I'm kind of waiting for it. Yeah. I, we could we could always see anything really, but uh, just waiting for the uh, last pick here for Bemos. They're gonna have to pick up a jungler unless they're gonna be running this Shen in the jungle, uh, which I don't obviously expect. But I mean, just looking at Brainstorm's, Brainstorm's team, just automatically, just what do we what do we think about their team comp here? I think I see a lot of CC, a lot of good potential for great engages and that I mean depending on if they can actually get those great engages is going to mean the difference in later team fights when everyone's together because while they have some great engages I mean BMO has the disengage from Zaya with her all the karma, her Q slow, and her giant shield of whatever. The Shen ult, of course, is going to add some massive pressure from him, just being able to go wherever he needs. And of course, we can't forget about the Syndra deletion of an ult, where if she gets into that back line, she can just delete one of the carries. Yeah, I mean, I'm interested to see how this Trundle pick is now going to run in. It definitely is going to do a number of things against someone like the Sejuani, the Renekton, or even the Aatrox, taking a lot of those tanky stats away, but making them more of a super squishy target. And with something like the Syndra and Zaya that you pointed out, those are going to be huge damage points to try and uh, deal with. My issue here is, is that Brainstorm, while they do have an amazing comp, obviously Aatrox being super, super strong, and you see that Renekton, a great early to mid game champion. I'm very scared that, you know, Brainstorm has kind of picked themselves into a corner in terms of a uh, damage profile. I feel oh. like, yeah, I mean, I feel like they've gone, they've got like some three great tanks. And while Aatrox and Renekton can do a lot of damage, their only real carry is Kaiza. So they're putting a lot on Kaiza getting ahead or being able to survive long enough to do some massive damage for them yeah hopefully we'll be able to see bs look at me you know maybe pull off some more of those insane plays that we i mean that we have come to see at least from him in the mid lane we saw the aurelian soul last time it wasn't amazing but it, well it definitely wasn't terrible um i mean for bemos like, what, what do you think is some of their objectives and what kind of team fight are they looking for here I mean, right off the back, they are going, I think they're going to immediately look to just try and invade that back line of Brainstorm, trying to use the Shen Taunt to get the tanks off of people like Syndra and Zaya, letting Karma Shield go off to protect them a little bit, while Syndra just starts laying down the stuns and the ult, deleting that carry right away, and I mean, possibly just going away with the team fights for the most part but i mean we can't forget that there are some people they definitely can't ignore renekton having a knight is going to kind of make him a scary person depending what lane he goes i almost want to say because i'm so confused about that I'm like i'm like 95 percent sure that it's this it's renekton mid i'm 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 telling you that's it's gonna happen. We're gonna see some Renekton mid, and it's gonna be some real spicy stuff. You get that really good engage onto Syndra, if you somehow dodge the scatter of the weak, and you just stun her, and she can't do anything. And you have Sejuani come in, boom, permafrost stacks instantly. You get three permafrost stacks with a stun. That's what I would definitely expect if it was Renekton mid. Yeah, I'm, yep. I'm, I'm so hyped for this now. <laughs> I've never seen it, but I'm ready for it. Yeah. So... We are hopefully going to be getting into games soon. Uh, I mean, just looking at these teams and obviously what we've talked about, who do you give this win to? Uh, it's it's hard to really say, but I still I feel like Brainstorm is going to take away this game. All right, give us give us some reasons why. Well, I just feel like they have more carry potential in their team still. With yeah, and even if. 
BMO is able to get that great engage like onto that Kaiza or whichever you may prefer, they can still do a lot of damage simply with the Sedge ult or an Ectin ult and his Q just dashing around. Aatrox obviously is new and improved and he can just ult and start laying down damage with that Q combo. And Rakan can simply ult and W and if he gets a pretty good, you know, W knockup for them, I mean, that can be the entire fight right there. Exactly. Of course, that's putting on a lot of... If they hit are hitting these skill shots... Yeah, so hitting all of these skill shots are going to be super important, especially when you have something like the Scatter of the Week, or even the Glacial Prison from Sejuani, and the Prey Seeker from Kaisa's W. However... Wait! Oh my god, wait, am I right? Oh my god, wait, it actually is Renekton mid. I think oh, it's going mid. I'm tell look, that Aatrox is going top. I'm telling you, this is gonna be insane. I love <laughs> this Renekton mid. It's such a great pick. Oh, I'm actually super hyped now. I thought it was gonna be some boring like Aatrox mid snooze fest. Woo! Oh know. my god. Uh, okay, personally, Aatrox into like really immobile mages like Syndra is like way easy. It's it's like like kind of brain dead easy. You just kind of you just hit them with a slow, you hit them with all three knockups, and then you really can't do anything other than spam flash and call for jungle and Mia ping jungle difference. But I mean, even to someone like the Shen, you you blast these melee matchups like incredibly, and I'm interested to see how Shmurby Derby is going to be able to deal with someone like Craze. I uh, I don't know think I've ever seen said this before, but I feel like. Aatrox ult is like my favorite just because of the name. Mm -hmm, like, World Ender. Yeah, the name is just sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah, I mean, the animation just looks so cool. Obviously, like, there's a little bit of a cast time, but you know, it just automatically just bursts on and he just kind of like starts flying, kind of doing a little bit of floating. But, uh, you know, start at the start of this game, we don't see anything too weird no, no crazy level one shenanigans as they say exactly now, i will admit my biggest worry for this renekton lane is gonna be the amount of poke he's gonna have to endure from this syndra just not just with her basics alone of course if she chooses to poke a lot with her abilities she's gonna run out of mana fairly quickly i'd say yeah obviously those autos are gonna do huge amounts of damage but we already see an early scuttle. Oh wow, we are gonna see the flash come down from Trundle to get out of there. Uh oh, in your head, that, you good? Uh, <laughs> we're there you go. All right, he's, that's he's an nullifying orb gone, so. Oh, we're gonna see uh, Shen going on this Aatrox. He's doing a ton of damage. He might pick up first blood and there it goes. The first blood already coming down for Bimo, uh, already killing my instincts. Come on, Aatrox. I mean, that was really weird. B uh, Craze was not even had not even hit level two yet, so already a level advantage for from Shmurby, and yeah. he's just kind of auto attacking him, hitting up, and he does have aftershock, so he's not hitting him with any like grass procs with additional like HP damage. It is just straight up auto attacks, and I mean, great job on Shmurby. That's that's first blood, and already looking pretty good. And I'm what I'm really also really kind of worried about is. Like, what does this do for... I mean, it is obviously First Blood, and First Blood is, doesn't necessarily decide a game, but what does this do for, like, the mental brainstorm where it's like, damn, we just started another game with the First Blood going against us. Oh, wow. Well, we're going to see a lot of damage go down on the Karma from the Kaiza. She is going to get away, but that's a big chunk of health. Luckily, mm -hmm. supports, they have health bots a lot. I feel like this whole, like, top lane is just switched up on me, though, now. That first blood, I'm gonna just assume that that our guy here was doubting the damage that the Shen could do at level 2. And because of that, he didn't even try to escape. Oh yeah, obviously he wasn't expecting to get the level 2 before him, but he's already set up a little bit of a freeze here in front of the wave. And he's, I mean, just look at that CS difference in the top lane now. Yeah, that is true. Shen, Ooh. going back right away, Les, 
we magically looked back down the bot lane, but we see Renekton going as well. He did pop the Ignite and the Flash to try to finish her. It's not going to be able to, but now here comes Trundle with the Pillar of Ice, going to attach himself to Renekton. Renekton going to go for the stun. It looks like that's going to save his life, and Trundle going to take a tower shot and decide, you know what, you're not worth it. Oh, I think, wait, if he actually hit the stun there on the Trundle under turret, that would have been a kill, but that is the the flash and ignite from in your head coming out and i mean uh, handsome jack really only changes the, the uh oh the flash coming for the knockup finishing that kill off for bs evolution gonna pick up that free first kill as now we see aatrox just devastating the shen's health ah uh, yeah that's a 19 cs lead so he's just destroying Shmervy Derp. Oh! Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, while he was able to pick up first blood, he also had to immediately go back. And he decided not to teleport back to lane while Aatrox did, which just meant free XP and free CS. Yeah, and it allowed him to actually freeze the wave in front of his turret, so Shmervy Derp wasn't able to move up and without, you know, threat of a gank. And, I mean, that is. Two kills going over to the side of Brainstorm. They were able to obviously pick up that kill bot lane for Look at Me. And the kill for Evolution there onto Introducing was, I mean, that, that's pretty good. And he's actually going to hit level six off of this. So we might see, and both junglers are obviously here. So we might actually see a World Ender gank up here. Yeah, I wouldn't expect that. If this Aatrox hits level six soon, he's going to go for that turret dive. But. He does not know that Trundle is that close. As we are going to see some poke come down from the bot lane. Karma, some true betrayal. Yeah, Karma trying to lay down the damage back, but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't work with shields. Renekton trying to pull off the sneaky stun. You can just dive him here. He doesn't have ultimate, obviously, and the flash yeah, is... I'm waiting for the dive. <laughs> I want to see it. Yeah. Come on, man. That's gotta be some real betrayal for Zaya. It's like, you know, you're laning against basically your lover Ooh. and you just you just get knocked up. I did just see Renekton ult a little prematurely, but we are gonna see Aatrox now go for the dive. He's taking a ton of damage. The pillar coming down from Trundle. There goes the resurrection and the pullback in is not gonna go. Flash coming down from Aatrox, but I don't know if he's gonna get out of here. It does look like, but he's actually gonna go back in. Holy cow. Okay. Ooh. He throws a Q backwards. Yeah, he threw that Q a little backwards. Also, I mean, he was holding on to the ultimate, probably expecting to live a lot longer there, but he also did take four turret shots, which is a large chunk of your health, obviously, is going to go missing there, so... That is... I mean... Uh, I actually... You know, I feel like he would have... Yeah, I feel like he would have killed that Shen, though, if he just didn't throw his Q backwards. Wow, <laughs> we're just going to see Orkan eat Zaya's damage, but Kaiza is going to jump right into that karma to try to finish her off. The exhaust going to be popped down, Rakan throwing out that Q to keep her alive, and both sides are just going to kind of back off, take the trade. Really, in my mind, though, in Zaya's favor. Yeah, uh, that's a lot of damage, but you also have to realize that... Uh... I mean, that's exhaust and heal being blown for this bot side, really for, I mean, the, the Kaisa ult, which is a 110 seconds already. And that is true. That's the, you can, use, that basically means you can use your Kaisa ult at least twice before the, the, the Zaya ult, or the Zaya heal comes out. Yeah, but we are seeing, a, now Aatrox is just being a bully. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, doing Aatrox things, as they may say. Yeah, I mean, being 0-2 doesn't matter when you have a almost 30 CS lead up on your lane opponent. You can just sit here and, despite Shen, you know, already having a kill and an assist, just the base damages for right now and having something like the Phage gives him some movement speed and some health, which allows him to deal with the Shen and you just easily trade with uh, this little ninja up here. Yeah, oh, I mean, we are gonna watch Rakan try to go in here. He's gonna ult to get that damage down. Zaya ult coming through, but now here comes the stand united from Shen. He's back in the bot lane with Renekton. Renekton gonna pop out 
his old old as the TP comes down from Aatrox, the W going down to make sure they cannot engage. And we're gonna see both sides yet again kind of just back off from each other. But it does look like BMO wants this tower. They are pushing in to get some damage down on it. There goes the stun, but now Karma's super low too. Wakan is moving in as Sedge is gonna jump. There goes the world ender from Aatrox as he is going to attach himself to that Syndra. Shed jumped onto the Rakan and might have finished him, but now he was carved out by the rest of the team. There goes the Glacier Prison and the Flash from Renekton to get that stun off. But Trundle is just waiting in the bush. Little does he know, it was warded. A nice pillow might save his life, but a flash coming from Sedrani is almost a kill. Okay, I oh. thought he was gonna die. Doesn't land the second part of the Winter's Wrath of Sedrani's W. Really unfortunate, but I was looking a little bit scary there for a brainstorm, but in the end, a lot of damage coming out from Craze, able to apply a lot of the plasma stacks so that look at me can just completely decimate that fight. I think Evolution had a you know a great team fight uh, impact there. In your head, obviously, on the Ternectin was doing really well, putting Handsome Jack uh, kind of on like back foot, had him really far away from the fight, at least towards the end of it. The ultimate from the Syndra was put onto Primate, and obviously Primate did die there, but that is one for. Uh, I think four. Or, I think it was three. Sorry, yeah, they were already at two, so that's three, and and that that's pretty worth if you're if you're on the side of brainstorm, growing your leads there. So here's one thing I'm gonna say is that we watched uh, Smurby Derb, or I'm pretty sure that's how you say his name. Yeah. Uh, but we watched him jump in to finish off that Rakan, but while he jumped in. Aatrox was able to jump in into the backline, but we are going to see oh. Renekton do a ton of damage to the Syndra, and I'm sure this is exactly what you were talking about. I'm, exactly. You just destroy <laughs> a mobile mages. Obviously, like uh, the Aatrox does that too, but just early to mid game, you can completely bully Syndra when, I mean, you really only have something like the, the Lost Chapter, and I love this pickup of the uh, team map, a top lane right now might be a little bit more interesting than the item purchases. Never mind. Oh. But the team map lets you clear the lanes. It lets you kind of fight back against someone like the Syndra who has a pretty decent wave clear, especially once you get that loot in Zeko. Uh, with the team map, you can just constantly push waves and then you can do what you want to do, which is get out of that lane. Just. <laughs> Just immediately get out of LA because you do not want to constantly sit there and wait for Syndra and let her scale up into the game. Yeah, so what I was saying before is that uh, while Shen was able to secure that kill on the Rakan, uh, there was no one protecting like Syndra from Aatrox anymore. And so, I mean, she just started getting deleted immediately and she had to back off. Uh oh, top lane. <laughs> oh, but. Oh, the Glacier Prison just Ooh. barely missing that mark. Yeah, that was uh, just a little bit off the, uh, you know, just off its target there. But something to note was even the last fight down in bot lane, going back to that, I know, uh, Evolution did end up missing the Glacial Prison, but it ended up being a little bit of a space creator as Handsome Jack and Bing Bong had to split up. Um, obviously it went in between them and Handsome Jack was slowed and had to go a little bit down towards the wall, forcing their yeah. death there. So in your head just kind of flashed on top of Syndra and did that stun combo just right into her death. Mm -hmm. So for right now, I mean, the map's pretty even. I mean, they haven't really taken any turrets, but this is a huge lead for Aatrox. Oh, that's a 40 CS lead. It's probably going to shrink down to a bit of a like, yeah, uh, uh, sub 30. That's kind of spooky right there. At least it's wow. not a 40 CS lead and two kills. Yeah, that would be really disgusting. Uh, we see Evolution, I mean, Brainstorm Gaming in general, they've, they've already kind of adapted a little bit. Instead of giving blue over to mid laners, you know, the typical stuff, they actually ended up giving the red to in your head for this early laning phase to allow him to poke a lot more on Handsome Jack. Yeah, and... This is World Ender again. Wow. Yeah, Possible I mean, dive. I, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the second tower dive. 
Although, to be fair, the last time we did it didn't exactly go as planned. Mm -hmm. We are going to see Trundle. It looks like he's going to meet Renekton. There goes the pillar, but the Dominus coming out from Renekton, followed by the stun. I do see the ignite, but the Glacier Prison is going to land. But the Syndra comes in too, landing that great stun. And meanwhile, while the fight down there goes, something happens in bot lane, but I don't know what happened. <laughs> Uh, okay. Looks like the Karma also went down, but that is a two for one. The Flash coming out from Craze. What happened in bot lane? All right, it looks like they took a couple of bad trades, but Craze is also going to pick up a kill top lane, so gets a little bit of that gold. Um, it looks it, like Craze. They blew knowing, a lot of ults down. Craze, knowing that their jungler was not there, decided to go for the tower dive, was able to get it, Ooh. but wow, there goes the Kaiser jump in, gonna finish off that syndrome, and now she's all alone with Trundle, and barely has any health, the flash is gonna go down, but who knows if it'll really save her, Trundle is marching his way down the lane, alright, he's done. My shutdown gold! <laughs> that was pretty close, that was uh, not looking too hot, but great job from look at me and primate there. I already like the evolution of these two in the bot lane right now. Oh, but little lot. does Aatrox know that Trundor has come again for his uh... Wow! What a great pillar leading into his absolute defeat. Just traps him into the corner and he's just gonna get beat down by these two tanks. Oh, that's actually big yikes. I would I would actually just be like, yo, call a pause right now. I want a chrono break the hell out of that. He got stuck. You saw him try to move. And he actually got stuck and then he was able to eventually, you know, dash over the pillar, but that's a real tilter. That's kind of feels real bad. I feel like uh, that's the moment you just put your head down and you're like, well, this is how I die. Yeah, you're going to just be relegated to tank top laner at this point. Uh, yeah, what a great pillar of frost, though, coming down from... Oh my god, I can't read his name. Introducing? Yeah. Okay. So for right now, it looks like they're going to try and just play through Look At Me and Primate. Uh, Primate. Uh, they're doing very well for themselves in this bot lane, kind of decimating at least Galbi and Bing Bong. Not too much in turret damage as they are able to get a huge shove onto the turret. But for right now, it looks like the big front runners for the team are going to be are going to be Evolution and Look At Me at least. So uh, my main question here is we, we can clearly see who are is brainstorming as main runners but who do you think on bmos is like the people that they want to get ahead now so that they can catch up a bit uh obviously they want to be picking up uh handsome jack i mean he is playing the syndra so you're going to be hopefully trying to get a lot of damage so you can pop people like look at me and craze oh nullifying armor is going to yeah. save him there but <laughs> Handsome Jack needs to be able to get, you know, more tangible leads other than, you know, some, a little bit of CS and, you know, they are going to pick up the Cloud Drake. So that is two Drakes and top lane though. Uh, all right. So I'm going to, I'm going to point out uh, real quick that remember when you said that CS lead was going to shrink? Mm -hmm. Well, it, it grew instead. Oh, uh -oh. Wow, what a great engage from the Akan. Glacier Prism coming down from the Cedrani. What a great Feather Storm absolutely denies that. Trundle is going to pick help finish off those... Uh, look at me. Oh my gosh, my brain just melted. But we are going to see Rakan walk down to this lane. The knockup coming down. Rakan... Mm, I'm losing my Renekton, mind. There you go. Renekton's Good. is going to try to secure it, but in the end of the day, Trundle does not go down easily anymore. Yeah, already has the dueling smite with the ch the challenger, and has the team added in Ninja Tabby. So, evolution and or sorry, in your head is not going to be doing as much damage as probably wanted. But something to note there is that the Shen ult did come down. The Stand United did provide the shield while Zaya was in Feather Storm. So. The thing is, is that also B-Craze eventually then um, ended up canceling it with a knockup. Does have World Ender. Ooh, Very so close, close there. Yeah. That's that a 50 was... CS lead. That was like right on the point of just death and not death. Yeah, and this is what we wanted from, from Craze right now. Um... Just being able to play aggressively, but in your head in your head thinking he caught out the trundle but really he just led him into another trap and Cedrani helps secure the kill 
extended bait. There. Yeah, it extended was extended uh, bait. <laughs> it was it was just a trick. It was a prank. Exactly. It was a prank, bro. But uh, you thought I mean, you had this... the upper hand, but uh. Exactly. It's all about having the you know the higher ground, making sure that you get those advantages. But this is what we were talking about for craze. I mean, having the Shen so low, having Shmerby Derp always at about like 40 or maybe 30 percent health. You playing the Aatrox and getting a lot of that consistent poke at least, you're not just auto attacking getting some trades, but you're making sure you're landing a lot of those keys from him. Oh, a flash wow. engage. Oh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say, but it looks like they are going to go for the tower dive here. So Dwani not going to finish off the Syndra, is going to leave it to Rakan, but because of that, they're going to lose Renekton in that fight. I... How did Evolution have ultimate already? Jesus, I felt like no, that was like, that like was... three seconds ago. <laughs> I swear he like just ulted. Something super important that happened there was that Smurby Derp, uh, uh, yeah, Smurby Derp, put down the ta the the dodge field, so that ended up actually dodging the uh, Renekton stun. So the kill wasn't able to be secured until later on, which then ended up being in your head's death and Evolution and Primate. Uh, Primate having to go super super low there under the turret. Oh, but something very interesting. We actually see Shen going into the fight, but now Zaya is here trying to take down the top laners. Tetrani coming in to help her Aatrox. He don't need no help though. Well, he probably does for now. Oh. He's gonna have to resurrect, but he is just so low. I don't know if Spirit is gonna make it out of here. He certainly is not as Craze finishes off that kill. Yeah, that's one of those moments where you see the Aatrox, he's got a full, he's about to get a full bar of the World Ender and get a whole lot of health back, and Sunfire ends up proccing it, so uh, 10 out of 10, maybe want to sell that item now, just out of tilt, but <laughs> yeah, we're going to go for this mid now. Yeah, I mean, even while uh, they are doing a great job, we are going to see Pimo take this tower, but a great Rakano is going to stun all four of them. Leaving Karma out in the dust, as they say, to take on the full brunt of brainstorming as Rakan looks like he wants to start another fight, but I think he's getting a little too ahead of himself. He's gonna get out of there. That was Just a great there. quickness there from him. That was yeah. super clean and got a four man charm, a two man yeah. knock up there, and in the end, Gobby goes down, and instead of trading that inner turret, they are gonna end up getting that tier one turret outside of the base, so great job from them. Yeah, uh, great shot from Brainstorm there. Well, we thought that they were going to lose the tower because of that. It actually uh, happened to where they took one. It looks like they're going to rotate down to bot lane to look for this second tier tower. Zaya is trying to kill these minions. She's actually doing a huge amount of damage to Rakan, but he is just going to get right out of there. Oh, oh they're gonna go in now. The Dominus is coming down. The stun landing up on Shen. Pillow of Frost, though, gonna knock him up right into the Zaya crossfire as she just deletes him. But he is gonna pick up the Shen now. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm getting what is Aatrox doing? I don't know what's going on really now. Aatrox just kind of threw himself into the rest of the team. Now Kaiza is left by herself. <laughs> to try and pick up the slack, but now oh. he Rakan. Oh, oh, he misses the W though. Now he's just caught out. The ultimate coming out. Quickness not gonna help him this time though. Cloudrick's broken. Cloudrick is actually broken. My shutdown gold is not gone, boys. Let's go. Great job from Look at Me, able to get away there, and especially for Primate, uh, you know, Never just sacrificing his life for his for AD carry. Cause. For the cause of the AD carry. That's it's the I only know. one death. That's what we do as support mains. Just saying. <laughs> Great job from uh, Kaisa there. Obviously, you know, a lot of aggressive positioning from Look at Me, especially with these killer instincts. Obviously, that fight was a little bit more forced. Craze blowing flash there. And I mean, they did end up losing a lot. I think they ended up trading four for four there. But oh, that is a huge wave that just gets instantly cleared from Slice and Dice. I got confused mm -hmm. when. Uh... Aatrox just kind of ran in there, and I was kind of like, why are you doing this? Bing was, Bong. Yeah, I was seeing Bing Bong get completely caught out. Stan United oh. coming down, but Aatrox is just going to chunk that health. Nothing you can do about that. But Renekton is like, and I'm not afraid of you. I can fight you, you tank. 
But uh, he quickly learns that he cannot fight him because yeah. he's not a tank. He also has um, Electrocute. It doesn't have a fully built item, so it doesn't have the Black Cleaver. Only really has the Hex Drinker to help him prevent damage from Handsome Jack. Yes. So while uh, before we watched Craze bully <laughs> Smurvy Derv, we're now watching Smurvy Derv bully in your head. Yeah, right now, uh, Smurby Derv, uh, this is looking really close. Yeah, I'm not sure who is actually going to win this. The stun is going to come down. Renekton might be able to pull this off. He definitely does not want to go under tower. That sounds like a danger. Honestly, if I was Smurby Derv, I'd be careful right now, because a simple stun could be the end of his life. We're going to see it. Oh, a great taunt is going to save him. But oh. now, In Your Head is under the tower, and a flash is going to save him, winning his 1v1. Good work. What am I that watching? You can take that fight. Oh, he could have won <laughs> that, actually. It was so it's close. He had the second league. slice and dice. He had the second slice and dice. He got the 50 rage. He's just trying to get a lot of damage. Just came down so close, and you know, despite a hundred CS lead, the flame oh, horizon coming out. But we are going to see a, a flash glacier prison going down on the karma, and because of that landing, she's just going to get absolutely deleted. That, yeah, so that... now we have to look at the advantages that are being created right now within your head dying top lane. Uh, so what what does that exactly mean? What do, what do BMO get from this? They now are able to grab that first top turret coming out and ooh, look at me but we're gonna see look at me go right into this Zaya, not afraid of anything I almost there's a think, lot of damage yeah i mean i almost think i could have won that fight if her, she would have feather stormed a little earlier yeah miss for uh, a little unfortunate there but now we look at the advantages that they're going to be creating here they're actually going to go straight for baron they do have a kaisa she doesn't have a lot of mana so Gonna see how this Baron damage is gonna come really through with the permafrost. They yeah. definitely know it's going down as Bimo is heading directly towards the Baron, but Trundo is gonna run right into the A track. Wow, followed by a great Rakan knockup into quickness that is just going to absolutely decimate their team. And now Syndra being the only one left alive over there Ooh. is just going to be picked off. Why look at me for the triple kill, and now this is an absolutely free Baron. I'm so mad. Evolution was leashing Baron the whole time, and it was down to like 5k health. Evolution backs up, it completely resets. So a little bit of wasted time here, but still, this is a free Baron, and you know, with Baron giving over a little bit of damage onto Handsome Jack, they're at the end. That is a triple kill for Look at Me, and Look at me right now doing an amazing job on this Kai'Sa and Rakan is doing a lot of work in these team fights, getting amazing knockouts, getting amazing charms. So let's look at how Brainstorm is going to be able to take this Baron that they just got uh, basically handed to them with an amazing team fight to boot. And uh, I mean, what what towers, what kind of objectives? Obviously Dragon was just taken. There was an Ocean Drake for Bemos. What other objectives are they going to be able to pull out from here? I think we're going to see a... I mean, a five-man push go down somewhere. If not a five-man, I'm going to suggest, or not suggest, but expect that Aatrox will go either top lane or bot lane and shove in that while the four others go mid lane for that two push. I mean, I'd expect that by the time this Baron's gone, if Brainstorm plays this right, that mid tower tier two will definitely be destroyed, quite possibly an inhib turret going down as well. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to see what happens. A lot of damage onto Primate here. Ooh, Primate getting a bit caught out. A nice pillar is going to knock him up, but of course he is Rakan, so he's just going to go to his teammate. As we're going to watch, I mean, we're watching Bimo try to defend this tower. They're doing a pretty good job, but now it looks like Renekton found a friend in the jungle in the form of Trundle, Aatrox walking up to come help him. Ooh. But now the rest of brainstorming just getting uh... caught up and Kaiza jumping into the middle of not only three people, but also a turn, completely turning this fight around for a BMO. Now we're gonna see Aatrox try to take down this side. He's doing a ton of damage. <laughs> so he's just gonna absolutely delete Syndra and Zaya because yet again, we see the two people who <laughs> Should be with the Aatrox series. broken. I mean, yes. I, I'd also <laughs> say that Shen and Trundle should have been with them rather than chasing another fight. Although yeah, that I was... understand. 
That was a, there's a couple of mistakes there. Obviously, look at me, Killer Instinct. Or, uh, you know, I don't know if Killer Instinct maybe for the enemy team there, but that's a, a just immediately teleporting into Handsome Jack, Bing Bong, and look Gobby me, there. Look at me's plan was was just totally, you know, distraction. Uh, but we are going to see Trundle fall here, sadly, uh, in, introducing. Not going to be able to survive the CC train that is uh, everyone. Yeah, a lot of knockups like, from Primate in there. Yeah, just as we expected, that mid tier tower going down, and it looks like Renekton is shoving minions into the top. Uh, for right now, I mean, just taking a look at like uh, taking a look at what people have built. Craze already picks up the Sterix gauge, um, and the the Titanic Hydra to help him cl cl wave clear a little bit faster. Oh. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. I mean, that's uh, that that's that's Rabadon's third item there for look and at me. Uh, so yeah, I was gonna say, look at me is building AP Kaiza. And you don't really need to build the meta. And you don't really need to build a void staff. I mean, if you look at the team, if you look at Bemos, the only person that really has any magic resist is Bing Bong with the QSS or the yeah with the Mercurial Scimitar. So. Ooh. Oh wow, but well, we are going to see another great engage coming. Quickness going to distract all three of those people as they just delete Trundle. And then they don't even care about this tower. They're just going, what's a tower? We don't care. <laughs> as they We're take just all diving the Nexus, boys. <laughs> yeah. Aatrox going to secure that triple kill. Craze going, uh, sorry, did you have a tower? I forgot. That was and a now, lot of damage. Uh, is the only one left alive handsome jack is gonna have to pull off some handsome moves but he's instead just gonna walk directly into age oh. oh. and kaiza I, I don't even know how she hit him that was so that far. is that was three plasma stacks with prey seeker hitting and barrier going off for handsome yeah. jack but that looks like it's gonna be and just the end of the game looking to end this game right now the only question is where they look for the final fight they are going to look for it as the glacier storm is going to pick off uh oh but now zaya is coming to <laughs> damage but it's not going to be enough she is going to secure the double kill but as she does it is gg brainstorming taking away this game oh jesus that was a. Uh... Uh, you know, a little bit closer at the end. Uh, maybe Bing Bong could have gone a little bit more. But either way, a great performance here from Brainstorm. And obviously a feels-good win after, you know, the curse go, is basically going five losses in a row. The curse is broken. The curse is broken, guys. So we can start cheering for Brainstorm. Obviously, they were doing pretty well before all this happened. And to fall a little bit from Grace. Um, so uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to point this out. Well, mm -hmm. Craze started the game getting ganked a bunch and mm -hmm. going like oh and three he ended the game 12 and four yeah and a huge cs lead still the i think i think their early game is so you know there's something left to be desired there maybe they need to work on recognizing their powerpoints uh maybe maybe looking at some excel sheets at the same time but uh, the Aatrox, uh, very strong. Obviously, those buffs coming coming in strong from this patch. And look at me with an amazing performance on the Kai'Sa. Yeah, I mean, I'd say Primate and look at me both. Yeah. Absolutely turning some of those fights around for their team. Mm -hmm. Just with Primate's great knockups and ults into the quickness, just absolutely distracting their team. Wow, look at me was just dealing out all the damage that they needed. It was just chunking people by the end. It was indeed insane. So that is going to wrap up Brainstorm Gaming versus BMO Commandos. GG to both teams and congratulations to Brainstorm Gaming for winning. Uh, the next game is going to be Illumination Empire versus BDSM. So we'll be right back and hopefully this will be a super hype match.